So currently one of the top rated games in the Next Fest that I hadn't heard of beforehand is Mecha Jammer. So this is a, another sort of uh, CRPG kind of game. You have very, you can already tell the aesthetic here is very specific for what it's trying to do here. You can actually do any kind of anti aliasing that we want. But yeah, let's uh, close the options. Let's go to the training demo. So it's Max, it's Jammer. Now, it wasn't all fins all the time. We played some other stuff before, but right now, we're in the C1 War Training Facility. And, um... Apparently, low-res pixel graphics is what we're getting in the future. So, ready for a crash course, boop camp, soldier? Basics first. Left-click on the ground to walk to a location. We did it. We won. Okay, that's nice. Character sheet. We're soldier. 34, female. I don't know if that's our name or if that's our age. Um, interesting. Lots of stats. Okay, I guess we're supposed to walk down. I do like the uh, animation of the grass here. Need a foot soldier. Needs to work their way over obstacles in a battlefield. Hold space to jump path. And left click to... Uh, Left click to... Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, so we can, like, walk over here. We don't have, like, a stamina bar, but we can shift to jump. Okay, that's something I don't normally see. You can jump through windows, too. Point your jump through the window to enter the building. Well, you know they have a door. All right. Looks like you got potential, soldier. You can jump through a window. See the unlocked doors ahead. Make a waypoint on them beyond the walkthrough. So, got to left click on through the door to move through it. Okay, I don't know exactly what this is. I do. That this lighting just makes me think of Cataclysm: Dark Days Ahead, and now I'm even more scared of this game. Um, okay, so if we have ex exploding gas zombies popping out of here, I'm not going to be surprised at all now. If you're on scouting missions, you need to enter places you shouldn't. This door needs a key. Find it. So, is it in a box? We can punch the boxes. Ow. We just found a key. Where's my key sound? Acquired key. Door unlocked with key. So click the door to roll your burglary skill to pick the lock. So can we... Okay, shifting lets us walk. Spacebar lets us jump. This is all it's all very new to me. So lock pick. Apparently there's no lock picking minigame, which is how me and many other people got rich in Skyrim or Elders, any of the Elder Scrolls game. Um, the, if the lock is too hard to pick, you can always resort to brute strength. This should never be attempted while behind enemy lines. Breaking down the door is loud, and you'll tell the whole building or your location, but sometimes you don't have any options. See what you can do. Hover over the door and target it, and then right-click to punch until it breaks. So you're going to get me, like, killed in the training course. Ow. So is this, like, some kind of stealth option? I'm not sure. All right. <clears throat> Good work, soldier. You master this. Now practice some stealth maneuvers to conserve ammunition over possible. Uh, yes, uh, Zephyrinus. Pretty much how this works is that there is a whole bunch of demos that are on available at Steam at the same time. First one we did today was Starshift, which was, which was kind of a uh, JRPG RPG maker kind of game. But it, was, it had a pretty interesting story, even if the combat felt like I was back on the Sega Genesis. Uh, Arrival Zero Earth is what you came in for. Now we're doing Mecha Jammer. Which apparently is less of a game about mechs and more of a game about getting shouted at by some floating soldier heads. So watch the sight cones on your direction map to stay out of enemy sight. I don't know what that means. Apparently staying in the shadows. Let's see, where do we where do we go? 
saying how the enemy sight isn't enough, you have to be quiet as well. They can hear further than they can see and they'll start searching for you if they hear a noise. So don't just stomp through the enemy lines. Toggle shift to enter sneak mode. The guard ahead on patrol. Keep out of his cone of vision. Oh no, that's fine. I'll I'll keep messing up your name, probably. Like, is it car or char? So we're gonna sneaky sneak. I still don't see these vision cones people are talking about. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the reasons I want to do some stuff like this is because there are some demos that are very good and there are some demos that are like kind of garbage. Oh, that map. Okay. I see it now. So he's going to stand in the corner. Like any good video game guard does, sometimes you'll be able to use your surroundings to stand detected. Tall grass will hide you. We're a uh, horizon now. So let's go through this way. So they'll never see us coming. Maybe. Maybe they'll never see us coming. But yeah, so far, the, one of the nice things about the Next Fest is that it's gotten to be such a big deal for like exposure for in, indie developers that a lot of people won't just shit out a demo anymore. They'll actually put like a lot of effort into it. So like grass, someone standing very close to you will be able to see. Stick to the shadows and walk quietly to get past this guard undetected. Toggle shift to enter sneaky sneak mode. How did you not detect me? You must be blind. Why can't I just knock you out Kenshi style? All right, so any other guards? We're just we're just sneaking here. Good work, you've mastered something. I clicked off that way too fast. Let's see what this is. Door. Door. Have lots of paranoia in games like this where I just wanna double check and make sure before I would go running in here. Can you find the weapon in the locker? Is this Blue's Clues now? Left click on the locker and then pick up the item, double click it to put it in your bag. Can you find the weapon locker? It's right there! Can you find the weapon? It's right there. Apparently, apparently that's too much of an ask. Okay, we can punch the weapon. Okay, it's a wrench. How do we equip the wrench? Apparently not with our not with our handy dandy notepad. So this is interesting dice, so uh, a few different dice that we can roll. That's an actual representation of it. Unlike something like Caves of Cud that has a similar layout here. So I guess we just... Oh good, we just have the wrench. It's just equipped automatically. That's good. Right click on a hostile enemy to attack. What is What does you say? Open the bag to equip a weapon. Double left click it to equip it. So we just kind of did it. All right. We have one hand melee throw or knockout. So I have a feeling I'm about to get in a fight. When your enemy sees you or takes damage, you'll enter turn mode. The game will pause in between your actions so you can do something. Tar, char or Char, that's fine. I understand. Enemies will also take turns same as you. Right click on your target to do something. It is really easy for me to click off of this here. So who was that that way here? So we just ran right past each other. Let's dance. Whoa. If you're a training trooper, why were you full of blood? Let's just catch up, right? He's okay, right? Click tab to knock out from the action buttons on the right. Press skip button to wait turns. That's very important. When you hit someone, they can cry out and alert their allies. Choose the knockout action button on the bottom of your screen to take action. If you need to wait a few turns so the guards turn away from you, press B. So let's... uh. Sneaky sneak.
so don't turn around. Whoa. Okay. So I was apparently supposed to sneak on you, not walk into you. Cool. Task failed successfully. There's a gun and ammunition in this locker. Okay, so apparently I clicked off all the tutorializing. My bad. Well, I'm glad it was easier than expected. Cool. Uh, this game is called uh, Mecha Jammer. So it's a game about... I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. There are apparently mechs in here at some point. Now we have a gun. So it seems like it could be any number of things. We've, we've had that situation before. Can we? Can we not read the sign today? Okay, well, I guess that's fine. And now we can shoot you guys, because apparently I just ran off into here. Did I fail to reload? This is why I'm, I don't do shooty games. So, yeah, they died, which is exciting, I guess, because the, they one of them dropped a key, right? There we go. That that whole thing down there, I get it, but it takes some getting used to. Target an enemy's legs or head will reduce your enemy stats. Reduce max life and knock them down. Headshots are the most difficult, but you gain an extra damage die if you hit or or if your hit rolls uh, something here. So a critical hit, pretty much. It's a dice attack system, very much like Kenshi. Uh, wounding shots to the legs slow down your enemy. This can give you time to do something. Oh, so some of it automatically goes for me. Well, let's try to sneaky sneak. I don't know if I can reload. I can reload. Hopefully it doesn't make a sound. So we're sneaking. We got some lockers. Hover over the legs and head to wound an enemy. Wounding shots reduce maximum life. So we got even more bullets. And another gun and some more bullets. So slug, pistol. So I don't have to hold shift, I can just push shift. Alright, so... Here's you. We can go for the headshot. Let's take out a leg. Well, that's fun. Let's take out a leg again. Let's take out a torso. I feel like I'm the bad guy here. Okay, now I'm just standing here taking shots. Can I shoot the gun out of your hand? No. Alright. So... Did we get him? Can I switch weapons in combat? Maybe. And we're just going to smack you in the face. Oh, I lost in the tutorial. Dead. All right, let's try this again. Let's see here. We have... We can't equip two guns at the same time. So let's see here. Single shot, burst, and um, throw or knockout. All right, so we, we failed by trying to go in melee here. So what we're supposed to do, I guess, is knock him down, and then if we fire from the shadows. It's like, where did that come from? Okay. What I want to know is, why was I not doing all this damage to you before? Alright. SWAT 2, I've never actually played. I've played a few games that claim to be a lot like Fallout. Um, there we go. This time we did win. Alright. So I'm curious if this whole game is like a uh, 
sneak based attack thing because my expectations were a little bit different. When you attack behind chest high walls, you're automatically taking cover. When you're in cover, you'll be protected from incoming stuff. Utilize cover to get past these troops. So I can crouch below cover, right? And then what do you say? Toggle shift to stay low. Attacks from sneak mode will spend speed recovery time in cover. So that is like another uh, Fallout light game that I saw before where you want to be firing from a uh, crouch position if you can. Let's go for a stupid headshot though. What was that? That was a miss. Really? So. Okay. So I can't aim down far enough to get anything else than what I have. That's interesting. Out of ammunition again. Am I though? Because I'm pretty sure I just reloaded. Okay, well. Let's see what we got here. So. Why am I out of ammunition? I am definitely not out of ammunition. Well, that's part of the demo fun here. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. See, we shouldn't be empty here. Or maybe I am. Maybe we just wrench it. Let's try... Can we try throwing? Who throws a gun anyway? That was, like, the worst possible. Okay, well... Apparently we're just supposed to shoot these guys through a fence. Can I hop over the fence, just like we learned here? No, apparently not. Okay, so we got... We got blasted. Dead again. Now, how many bullets do I have? None. Is there a place where I can get some more bullets? Um... Okay, so apparently we get to open all those again. See, I was about to say, I thought I had plenty. Alright, let's try this again, this time. With all of our magic respawning bullets here. Neo Scavenger, yes, that's another. Especially the art style. That's another good comparison. Um, God, I'm gonna have to look up and see what game it is on Steam that I have that this reminds me of. Um, let's get out of here. And let's sneak back in. They'll never find us if we sneaky sneak. Once again, can't aim for the legs. I can over here. Pew pew. Pew pew. You guys take a lot of hits. So there's a torso shot. We could try a burst shot, but... Okay, it's not really letting me reload very much. Alright, weird. So you have to you have to finish your clip before you reload. Alright. Can I get just a little bit closer? Alright, leggies please? Apparently not. Apparently they get to hide behind cover too. Who knew the enemies would get to use cover? And apparently regenerate themselves. There we go, finally a headshot. So where do we exit out of here? I guess we exit over here to the left. You've mastered offensive maneuvers. Have I though? 
But you need to stay defensive as well. Be aware. Look for hazard spills on the ground. They can cause damage, so stand in the fire. What's this? That just looks like a happy talky face. Hey, what do you what do you say? Avoid ooze on the ground. That's ooze apparently. Okay. Okay, med kit, please. Use it. All right, good work. Look for edibles and rations as well. They won't cure wounds, but they'll regenerate health instantly. If your health drops below a certain point, something happens, but I don't know because the text keeps disappearing. All right. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a good point. Just I, I managed to luck somebody in the head. All right. So hacking computer gets you supplies, etc. The gate. See if you can. Let's see. It's really, it's really bugging me real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Um, star, 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 star. Not star renegades. Not star traders. Frontiers. Not star drive. Not don't starve. There's just another game I can think of. Stellar Tactics. That's it. Also a good game. Also forever like in development. But this this is like Stellar Tactics is doesn't hold back on trying to be like, yeah, it's Fallout in space with a bunch of different places here. So we're going to try to hack the door by pressing O for the override code. Look at that. Obviously, obviously, that's what I do all the time. Uh, enter the user passcode to continue. Well, obviously, your password is password. Right? Type any password to roll. Oh, good! Passcode accepted! Alright, system override complete. Uh, I could have done 1, 2, 3, 4, Hunter 2, any of those wouldn't have been acceptable. Excellent soldier. Okay, some real promise. At long last, or as a lone wolf, you only do so much. With comrades, you can survive difficult encounters. Use your social study to charm these champions to join your party. So it's a dating game now. Hey, you guys. Charm. Let's go. So charming. Left click on the character to roll a social check. Okay, can we get you to go too? Charm. This is all good. So we got all of our buddies together. It's going to be a good day. Ain't nobody going to die today. We got big weapons locker. We have training troopers. Click on what do you have to say. Iron durability can break, so you need to keep up with equipping them. So talk. Hey, boss. Um, let's give you a gun, I guess. Talk. Hey, boss. Have this wrench. Thanks. All right, let's see what's in the locker here. Please be more ammo. I kind of need to reload for myself here. Okay, so you you are the wrench, buddy. What skills do you have? I'm aces with lasers, slug guns, hammers, etc. All right. You need a gun. And some bullets. Which means you. This is this is a little cumbersome, but it's I can accept it. Um, you get six bullets, because I expect you, this is in use. You get nine bullets. Somehow. Undeserving as you are. 
The password is anima serial, maybe. Or animize real. Okay, let's see what this says. Use one, two, three, four to direct groups of companions to attack or move. All right. You can organize your companions and squads in the companion menu. Direct the squads by toggling one, two, three, four keys. Then left click on the ground or target to move and attack. Your squads can be tagged as melee ranger shield in the companions menu. Most of the time, they'll automatically look for cover, but they'll stay close or far depending on where things are, so. Let's attack, I guess. Okay, for some reason I am not shooting, probably because I hit the wrong clicky. Okay, this is this is a little more hectic here. Okay, the green ones are our buddies, right? So we're just waiting turns now. Let's see if we can hit you in the head. Good. Look, suddenly, suddenly we remembered how to shoot. So am I out of ammo now? Okay. Okay, did I just put myself in point blank range? Yes. Did I also just get a bunch of scrubs to not, like, do anything? Yep. Look, they're all just sitting there like, we're hiding. We ran out of ammo. So now I have no companions. No friends. You don't count. Because you guys just sat there and watched me die. Okay, do we only have the one guy left? Or did he somehow die? No, it didn't die. Okay. So let's see if we can... Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here anymore. Like, we need to get you all... Oh, do I need to... Oh my gosh, okay. I am I am officially bad at this game now. But we're gonna back attack him here. So I have two more people that... Apparently just don't want to do anything. Alright, cool. Do I need to charm you again? I don't know why I'm suddenly like... I have, I have, I have changed somehow. Oh, demos are fun. You gave a melee weapon to your buddy, so. Yeah, no, I understand. I was hoping that I could get him to, like, move. Like, group one is supposed to be. These guys originally did attack. I don't know how to get out of this menu. Like, these guys are just standing here stuck now. Um. Like, I don't know. I had three before, and now I have one friend. I guess that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah, I just wasted a bullet. Nice. Okay. So we had three friends, and now we have one. Ready to hit the road? Left click on a car to drive. Your companions will join you. If it has extra seats, they can attack while you drive. Well, I only have one companion. And apparently... I have no textures mapped to me now. So let's get in the car, I guess. Alright. It's gonna be one of these games. Okay. It is literally Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Okay. Click the ground to drive to a new position. When you want to leave the car, use your key to jump or your spacebar to jump out. Can we ram him? That's my first question. One file test soldier. 
Sneak or destroy your way to the end of this obstacle course and your training will be complete. Okay. So you've been run over. Apparently we can turn on a dime. So we lost a car. And um, everything exploded, including my face. Yeah, this, this demo definitely has some jank. Like, I can see... I can see the appeal to a point, but I'm also a little confused. Alright, so... Are we going to sneak past here? We can sneak or we can kill. Can we just keep going? Like, surely we don't have to run over everybody, right? And we'll run over you. There we go. Did not kill him, apparently. Looks like we made it. I have no idea where our objective is. It seems like it could be it. Suddenly we have a lot of people on us here. Run, please. Good work, soldier! You've completed the demo mission. Alright, tutorial completed. What did I learn? I learned that I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. So that's fascinating. Mecha Jammer. It looks cool. Um... I have no idea. I, I couldn't tell you what this game is about. I couldn't tell you what's going on. I couldn't know, tell you why it's jam or anything. So the demo definitely shows some stuff, but it, it kind of misses the mark. It needs more time in the oven, as a lot of things do. Um, gosh, what's that other game that came out recently that had um, other similar stuff? Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. It was like... Um, Oh gosh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to remember what it's called now. Um, not Death Loop, Death Trash. Now Death Trash. I'll go ahead and uh, share my screen here. If you're unfamiliar with Death Trash, very similar aesthetic, very similar kind of stuff. It very yeah. Thank you. There we go. Except you get to eat your own vomit, so that's a plus. This is one that's actually out in early access right now, but I am not, I haven't gotten it yet because I do want to wait until it's done. What little bit of it I played, I liked enough just to be like, I want to wait until, I, I want to wait until I can play it all at once. So, Mecha Jammer, I hate doing it like this because it certainly looks cool and there's a lot of effort, but right now it kind of played like a worse death trash. Although that's, that's terrifying. They don't need a friend. They need a protector, so that's why your eyes are bleeding. But of course, that was a different next fest. This next fest were here. So let me just uh, see real quick. Um, I got one th one thing here. <laughs> 